right. Two second action. Hi, my name is Ben. Um, I'm from a little town out in West Texas called Ballinger. What kind of led me to join in the Culture Project? Um, I was applying to graduate school at this very prestigious school, well known in the country. Uh, there was a fully funded theology program. And they, uh, I mean, I made it all the way through. And at the very last moment, I got cut from the program. And I was living a life where I just wanted more. And I was asking the Lord, okay, Lord, like I wanted to serve you. I want to get this theology degree. I want to go serve your church. And it was that moment that the Lord really spoke to me and he said, you don't need a degree to, to serve me, to serve my church. Uh, I just need you. And that kind of led me down this journey of coming across the Culture Project. A great mentor and friend of mine who was a focused missionary um, told me about the Culture Project. And he, he knew my desire for the youth. He knew my desire to do ministry, to, to be in the trenches. Um, I have a deep love for high school and middle school students um, because um, my dad was actually raised Catholic and he left the faith when he was in high school. And so I have a deep ministry to to go out to evangelize the catechized, to go seek those souls in middle school and high school, uh, to share truth with them, to share honesty, and to really like share the joy of the Catholic faith with them. And I think that's why I joined the Culture Project, because it allows me to be in the trenches, to go where the brokenhearted are, where the kids are asking questions, and to speak truth into that. Um, so that's kind of why I joined the Culture Project, and that's why I wanted to do this above every, everything else. You know, a lot of other mission organizations, they're fantastic. They are truly like speaking to the hearts of the people out there, especially focused with college. But I wanted to go um, to the high school, to the hurting, um, to the source of a lot of pain, and to try to really be that big brother, that mentor um, that I never had in my own life.